Kaleo, you're from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Tell us a little bit about yourself, my friend. Aloha, Kaleo Kina, AKA Agent K from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Served eight uh, years active duty, Naval Academy grad. That's how I got to Virginia Beach, where I got stationed. Um, served eight years. I've been in the real estate industry since 2017. Yep. Um, started as a solo agent, grew, small team, grew, mega team, grew, uh, bought a brokerage. And so um, real estate has been an amazing opportunity. I'm blessed to be a part of it. Good, well, thank you for your service. So um, last year, thank you, you can clap for that. So last year, you and your team closed 202 units, and this year you're on pace for 230. Uh, why the increase? Why do you think you're increasing when everyone else is set, stepping back or kind of flat? Well, one of the ahas that you mentioned earlier was just evaluating what the environment and the market looks like, yep. um, and then being able to pivot and adjust. And I think that last year, we rode the high of 2021, and we kind of just moseyed our way through it and ended at 200 without any real adjustments. Yep. Um, the last quarter of last year, we realized we needed to make some changes, and um, so we took a, a different approach in terms of our communication plan to our database, Yeah. Um, and we really doubled down on that, and so that's where we, that's our bread and butter. And so, I love that. Yeah. You told me on the phone that you have 68 touches a year to your database now. Yes, and that's minimum, so yes, sir. All right, so one by one, we're gonna go through all, I'm kidding. Uh, so I wanna know which ones would you say are the most unique? Because you know what everyone else is doing, you know what the CRMs do. Mm -hmm. What are the most, like three or four, two or three, whatever, the most unique that you think add the most value and cause people to remember you more than your competition? Copy. And so I'm Hawaiian, so we're a simple culture, right? I think everybody's looking for a magic pill, and it's not necessarily like what is more unique, it's about what are you doing and what, you, what is the experience you're creating in that moment. Yep. And so everything that we do, there's no rocket science, we're not spending loads of money, it really is just maximizing. So something she said was she communicates so consistently that the algorithm then puts her out there. Well, my algorithm is our VIP database and we communicate so consistently yep. that they then know that we're gonna call and ask for the referral of the business and they're gonna refer us to other people. Yep. And so as an industry, I think, COVID allowed us to get real big on chat GPT and automation. And while I think those are great for the foundation of your communication plan, yep. the most valuable touches are face-to-face, -face, voice to voice, and events. And so we have- Can you say that again? The most valuable in terms of separating yourself yep. is face-to-face, -face, voice to voice, and events in person. Can you say that again? Yep. <laughs> the most valuable are face-to-face, -face, voice to voice, and in-person events. One more time. The most valuable is face-to-face, voice-to-voice, and in-person events. Thank you. Yes, sir. So uh, talk to me about your events a little bit. Um, what, what, what events have been the most successful? What is one event you absolutely would not do away with because your clients love it and it's one that you see success with? Absolutely. Fun fact, I have four kids under five. And so anything with kids, kid-friendly, <laughs> has the biggest turnouts. And so our Easter bash is geared towards kids. We have multiple, you know, Easter egg hunts, little giveaways, and so that is a big. big By the way, uh, Kaleo is actually on vacation right now. You're on a seven-day vacation where? Yeah, so ten, days. ten um, days. My family lives in Arizona. We well, we live in Virginia Beach. My mom and grandma family lives in Arizona. Yep. So we flew to Arizona last Friday. Yep. We got to spend time with grandma, mama, and Amy. My family supported me, so I flew out here for two days, and then I'm gonna fly back, fly back. To, to go back over there. So. Thank you for being here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So talk to me about your database calls and the giveaways, and that, that seems to be something that stands out as well. Can you share with us a little bit about that? Yeah, and so the biggest thing I have, even for myself and for agents, is like, we don't wanna sound salesy, or I don't want to come off as a salesperson, even though that's the nature of our business, right? And so the events are four times a year, so there's two touches prior, two touches after, but then besides those four events, we have a monthly giveaway or an activity that we're doing a food drive or back to school clothes raffle or whatever it is. Charity. And yep. so what we do is we eliminate that fear and we're coming from a place of value every single month. Yep. So there's no reason not to call because we're offering a value add, not just for the real estate business, but for their life or something that we're pushing a cause for. So it allows us, I mean, literally every month, we, there's no reason why you shouldn't want to call. Yep, yep, I love that. So um, giveaways, what kind of giveaways do you do? How expensive is it? Is, I mean, when people hear giveaways, they think, oh, that sounds expensive, I don't wanna do that. One of them is, and so we do have one 
giveaway that's usually between a thousand and two thousand dollars. Okay. Um, whether it's a Peloton or a big thousand dollar Christmas giveaway. The rest of them though are hundred dollar gift cards for Mother's Day, hundred and fifty dollar yeah. Bass Pro Shop to Father's Day. So you use the smaller token gifts as reasons to reach out. A absolutely. So that's the reason we're calling. That's the reason we're emailing. And I don't know if you caught it. You know, before an event, you reach, you touch twice. After an event, you touch them twice. So every event is four touches just there, and you 16. have four events, yep. right? So 16 that's sixteen right there. Right there. Yeah, love that. So talk to me about your um, current um, morning routine. What is your your outbound prospecting and, and your power up? What does that look like? Yeah, for sure. So military background, so very structured. Um, and just we have a playbook. So every morning we have a daily huddle at 8.30. Mm -hmm. um, inspiration, motivation, we read a book together. Right now we're reading 17 Refutable Laws of Teamwork. Right, yep. we have a couple of takeaways and then we get right into- John Maxwell? Yep, get right into fires. Our TC is on the call. Um, after that, our lead gen coordinator, she does script practice from 8.45 to 9. 9 to 10 is what I call outbound prospecting. I yep. labeled that very specifically yeah. because I don't want to confuse that. There's no text messaging. There's no Facebook message. It's just listed, circle prospecting, just listed, just sold, open houses, or FISBOS and expires. Dialing the phone for an hour. Yeah, that's we, it. Yep. Just one hour. Or an, one hour. Yep. That's it. But and no then, distractions either. So like that's clear. This is the hour that, mm -hmm. that we're doing this. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then from 10 to 11, I call it database management. So that's where we're doing follow-up or the reach is typically the way we have it scripted out, 10, 10 people in your database a day. Yep. And so you should be able to knock that out. And so we give them a routine, and I hope that that gives them the momentum for the rest of the day, and then they yeah. kind of own the rest of their day. So when they're making general calls to their database, I mean, do you always have a reason? Like, it, in other words, are they asking for business every, every so often, or are you just saying, hey, this month's giveaway is this, or this month's event is this? What do those database calls look like most? I mean, it depends on the direction of the conversation. Also depends on the direction of your business. Like, do you need to be asking every call, right? Yeah. Um, but typically it's just a value add to the client, your relationship building. And if we're not asking for business, like in that moment, we're asking for a database ad. So yeah. a, ref a referral or a friendship that we can connect with. So yeah. we, we run by the motto that on average, a person knows 256 people. Yep. And so we don't just value that person for the one deal, we value that person for the 256 people we can communicate with. Got it. So you mentioned to me on the phone, you've got a lead gen captain. Uh, what does she do? Taylor Lennox Bagnick, the lead gen captain. So she brings the energy, the motivation, she makes sure everybody's head's on right. She's a part of your market mastery. I think she has three Glover U uh, counterparts that she does script practice with. Mm -hmm. And basically she's the one that champions the lead gen. So she also is rewarded in other ways on the yeah. team, but she champions it. So she runs it. She runs the script practice. Yep. She knows how to w work the dialer, how to pull the list. So she's the one yeah. that teaches everybody how to how to. Every answer. team of brokers needs a lead gen captain, mm -hmm. right? And by the way, if you don't have one, it's you, right? <laughs> For sure. You're the lead gen captain. So um, talk to me about your um, multiple ways to sell. You, you know, you're, you're, you're creating, um, opportunities for more sellers to reach out to you kind of out of the box. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, so part of our evaluation is like at the end of the day, inventory is low, right? And so we had to figure out what are different ways that we've never tried before that could potentially get us in front of more clients or more opportunities, right? Yeah. And so what we looked at is we started an investment company um, that does a full cash offer program for that company, right? Yeah. So then we do full cash offers on homes if we need it. We then have our typical listing script. And Which, by the way, most of them probably don't take you up on those offers, mm -mm. but it's a lead generator. It's a lead gen source that allows us to create a relationship. And like you said earlier, for every opportunity, there's a problem that we need to solve. And you'd yeah. be surprised that there are more opportunities that people do yeah. just need that solved real quick. And That's so right. that, is, that is a benefit. Um, and then we also started a renovation, or we call it Coastal Virginia Collective Realty is my team name, but Cova Concierge, where we will then front um, renovation costs in order to get the max price and then yep. get it reimbursed at closing. And we have specific partners we use in terms of like the contractors and all yep. that. But that's so allowed you, us. You take some things off their plate, mm -hmm. uh, front the money, and, and that helps you secure the listing because the other agents aren't willing to do that. And because the success rate of, of listings taken to listings sold is so high, you're counting on you're going to get that money back plus some, is there a buffer in there, or is just the whatever it costs? Yeah, I mean, at, I mean, there is a buffer. We have a management fee for yep. running, running for the play for yep. them, right? And our market is Hampton Roads, it's a high military market, and so it's very transient. So what, every seven years somebody is gonna look to move. In our area, it's literally two to five years, like we, mm -hmm. it's a condensed timeline, so yep. more people need that opportunity. What if the house doesn't sell? 
Um, it, we haven't had that problem yet. Got it. So, so we're not we're not just doing it just to do it. We run comps. We make sure we know the ARV. Not everyone gets to take advantage of it. Exactly. But you offer it, and that helps you generate leads, convert leads to appointments. Absolutely. And when it qualifies, they can take advantage of it if they want to. Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you, Kaleo.